Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Roy and Roy podcast. <laughs> welcome you is... Roy. And... Roy. <laughs> oh, shit. We would introduce our sponsors, but we don't have any because we're broke. And now time for the disclaimer. Hello, everyone. Um... Uh, the views and opinions uh, expressed in this shit. video are solely owned by those making they're this video. If they're they are owned. We, they're our opinions. How can they be owned? They only they can only be owned by us. They're our opinions. They're we not own them. It doesn't matter. They're our opinions. We own them. We have our own opinion. Everyone does. You're talking that opinions are property rights. Yeah. So nobody can steal your opinion. No. Anybody can steal your opinion. No, you can't. Like if you have an opinion about something, I'll be like, no, that's my no, opinion. No, they can just share your opinion. No, it's my opinion. It doesn't matter. That's not my opinion. I can share your opinion, I just can't take your opinion. No, it's my opinion. If you take you something from it. someone, that means you don't have it anymore, Dad. You can have my opinion. That's what stealing just, means. Oh, well, you know, not really. You can steal someone's idea. Yeah, that's not an opinion. But an opinion and an idea is pretty close. It's a thought. But it's not the same thing. That's why there's two different words. I don't agree. All right, what's on your list today? We have to keep this short what because is? we're tired. Yeah, I had a long day today. He's got his grocery list, shopping list here with him. <sighs> Want to let him know how we're doing on our addition? It's coming along pretty good. Got, it's... got most of the insulation done today. It's all fucked up. No, it's not. It's, it's like good. a quarter inch off square. So what? What's this quarter inch? That's awesome. Like, the roof isn't there. <laughs> yes, it's got a roof right now. It's plastic. Oh, yeah, tarp. <laughs> plastic black tarp. So what's on the agenda today, Dad? Well, I just thought this was a really, really interesting story about a Texas municipal judge, okay? So this Texas muni municipal court judge, she, is she was placed on unpaid leave. Now, a municipal court judge is like a... All right, first of all, if you become a judge in America, do you have to be a U.S. citizen or not? I don't think so. Yes, you do. Oh, you do? Yes. I didn't think you did. She is a judge in Texas. And she's not a U.S. citizen. Oh. They put her on administrative unpaid leave because she lied on her application. But they're not going to go back and redo the cases that she judged on. So someone that's not a citizen judged or placed a judgment on a citizen and convicted them or not. And they're going to say, oh, no, she's an honest person. So all of the cases that she... That she um, uh, oversaw, they're all right. We're not going to review them. Oh, wow. Only in America can you be a judge and not be a citizen. Incredible. Well, obviously not because she's not anymore. So. Well, she was for a certain amount of time because all of the judgments that she ruled over, are they're not reviewing them or going over them again. I mean, more than likely, the people that she put in jail or whatever, they probably deserve to be in jail, but she's not a citizen. You can't have someone from another, from another country... Judging you in this country. but And that's in Texas, too. That's surprising. Like, in Texas, I would think that they'd be like, nope, nope. Every single case that she... that she, It's like, for example, I don't remember what state it was. All right? But this happened a, a long time ago. This was one, like, the first... You know when, when those uh, uh, cameras gave you tickets for, like, going through a red light when it first came out? You, I don't know. Maybe 10 years ago. It was a long time ago. So I remember this one person researched the the company that installed the cameras and that gave the information to the police department so that they can issue the tickets well the person found out i think it was a he he found out that that company did not have a license to do business in that state so he brought them to court and they had to refund every single ticket that they had given every single person that that uh, was administered by that company's red light camera. They had to refund everyone their money back, and it was like three years worth of tickets. Wow! So same thing here. She's filing. She's making judgments on citizens of the United States, or people that live in the United States, and she's not even a citizen. How long has she been a judge? It's been for years. It hasn't been like six months. That's or three why months. they're not doing it. That's exactly. exactly why. But they still should. I know they should, but that's you know? why they're not doing it. So it would take way like, too damn long. I was like, that is freaking messed up. And um, uh, another story that I came across, which is really interesting, is it's not, it's not surprising. Is, it, it's just is all your stories really interesting? You keep saying that. Yeah, right? they're really interesting. Really Why would interesting? I talk about them if they weren't interesting? Just passing news. You know, like, hey, I got some wood today. 
Is that interesting? No. Yeah. Who the hell wants to know that I got wood today? Didn't you? Got shitload of wood today. Aren't you the one who said that people like to hear other people just bullshit well, about their day? I got a whole day? bunch of wood today to put the siding on the house as soon as we get the roof done because we should have the roof done, shingled and everything. By the end of this week. By the end. Well, not the, by the end of this week. I'm guessing weekend. by weekend. Yeah, by the end of the weekend. It should be done. And um, uh, that's not very interesting, but we are doing it ourselves, and we never done this shit before, and even though it's not 100% perfect, guess what? I don't have a mortgage. And the roof doesn't leak. It doesn't leak. Except for after the winter. and we have Yeah, except for that one time. Yeah, but we have to fix that yeah, this we year before mm-hmm. winter starts. And, uh, also, and YouTube. YouTube, their, it's censoring, a piece of shit. their censoring is yeah. like going above anything that anyone would have thought. Like Hitler would have probably been proud of YouTube. With the censorship. China's now, probably proud. Now, YouTube is singling out videos that they feel are insensitive. So if they feel that a video is insensitive, for whatever reason, they can single it out. And they're not they're not removing the video, but they are demonetizing it, number one. And they're making it difficult for people to be able to find those videos. So if you go somewhere looking for a certain video... It's, it's hard for you to find it because they're not putting it on any list. You have to like know exactly what the name of the video and the YouTube channel is in order to be able to go to it. Mm. So, Nazis. Uh, another, yep. It started off so good, too, until they were bought by Google. Incredible, man. And then freaking Russia again. Every freaking week. Oh, everything's about Russia. Russia, 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 Russia. Let me guess. Russia. We put sanctions on We them? put new sanctions on Russia. For oh. what? I don't know. Because they said they were meddling in the election. They they don't have any proof. They have absolutely no proof, but they said they're... Me- and the funny thing is, is that the sanctions that we put on them, they hurt Europe more than they hurt us. So now Germany's like, hey, screw you, screw you, USA. We're not freaking going with this shit because you're screwing up our economy now by putting all these sanctions on Russia because they trade with Russia. At They're one right time, next to each other. Yeah, at one time, they had like over 10,000 businesses that traded back and forth with Russia. And now they're losing so much money. Poland is losing a lot of money because of the sanctions on Russia. And I mean, the one thing I want to know is, yeah, Russia's government may not be great. Beautiful. That's great. Our government's not great. I know, I know but let's just talk about Russia. They may have a shitty government. Everyone says that Putin's a murderer. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know. But let's say he is. Okay, what the fuck... Oops, what the hell has Russia done to us? What have they done to us? They keep saying that the, the, the people here in government, the I guess it's the Republicans and the Democrats because 98 out of, no, no, 530-something out of 535 Congress slash senators voted toward, for the sanctions. So not only Democrats are saying this, but Democrats and Republicans, they're saying that they meddle with our elections, but there's no proof. There is absolutely no proof that they did. And what if they did? Did it affect it? Everyone said no. Every every top person has said no. Whatever they did did not affect the outcome of the election. The outcome would have still been the same. But my question is this. What about when our last administration sent people to Israel to try to meddle in their election? What about when our last administration sent people to Brazil to mess around with their election? What about when our last administration sent people to the Ukraine? And look at what the Ukraine has become to mess around with their elections and their government. What about when our last administration sent people to Libya and had um, uh, uh, Omar Gaddafi, I believe is his, his, was his name. And, He's dead and, as shit And now. had him, you know, and, and we didn't do it, but we came, we saw, and he died. <laughs> Who was that? We came, we saw, he died. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. That's that's what she said in a news in a news interview. That's hilarious. Yeah, th- and then she started laughing about it that's after hilarious. he got killed. So, but what did Livia ever do to us? I don't know. You know what they did to us? They were going to transform their monetary system from a fiat monetary system or from a dollar-based monetary system to a gold-based monetary system. And oh wow, imagine that. A few months later, what happens? We invade. Well, no, we didn't invade, but we oh. we fought a proxy war. We paid people to, you know, we paid mercenaries to go in there and freaking assassinate uh, Gaddafi. And of course, Gaddafi's a murderer, blah, 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 blah. But they never tell you that Libya was one of the richest countries in Africa before, while Gaddafi was in power. And Gaddafi kept the terrorists out. He was kind of like, kind of like, um, uh, what's the name of the guy in Iraq? 
Saddam Hussein. He was kind of like him. He was a hard dictator, but his people were educated. They had a very they had the highest literacy rating in all of Africa, and they were a pretty rich country. And as soon as he said, "Hey, I'm going to switch over to gold instead of uh, using the dollar to purchase oil," and he is trying to get other countries around his country to do the same thing. Give it a month or two later, what happens? He gets killed. He gets a, sh a stick shoved up his ass and he gets killed. And that's how it is. But nobody says anything about that. Nobody says about all these other countries that we fucking go to and we fuck around with their elections and we mess around with their government because we all do it for democracy. We all do it for the biggest fake freaking lie that there is. That democracy is the best thing. No, it's not. Democracy is a terrible govern governance. A terrible, terrible way to govern. All democracy does is say that the 51% can tell the 49% what they can do. And that's not freedom. And that's all I have to say about that. And this has been another episode of Roy's Rants. <laughs> Stay tuned in for next time. <clears throat> that was a rant. You know, my brother my brother Roy told me to talk about something today, and I forgot what Your the brother hell. Roy? Yeah, my brother Roy that lives in DR. Oh, my God. We're calling him Roy now? <laughs> Everyone's going to be Roy. He's hey, Roy. Roy. <laughs> hey, I'm my Uncle Roy. Oh, my cousin Roy? Man, what the heck was he telling me? He was telling me, you got to talk about this. I thought you talked about that last time. No, no, it was something else. I talked to him yesterday. Oh. I forgot what he was telling he's me. He's probably the only person who watches our videos. Hey, That's man. where all the 49 views came from. He's, just he's, one of our, he's one of our subscribers. <laughs> he's got 25% share in our subscribership. How many subscribers we got now? Four. Woo! I'm a subscriber too, so. Oh, two. <laughs> Probably your mom is one too. Okay, so one. <laughs> There's probably one subscriber out there that is a legit subscriber. Well, I don't. That is awesome. I don't know the name. This so. is for you. Our one legit subscriber. This is for you. If you even care anymore. What about you, man? What did you do today besides get up and look at yourself in the mirror and wonder about how terrible your life is and you have to go to a job that you hate? Oh, I was actually late. I woke up. You at... were late to work today. Wow, yeah. that's weird. Yeah. I uh, woke up at, what was it, 6.50 something. I was like, oh, I'm late. So I did my 10 minute stare in the bathroom anyway. Did you, um, uh, did you, do you get points at work if you're late? <laughs> they don't give a shit. Oh, they don't? Oh, that's good. Well, you're a good worker, so. Hey, there's, um, uh, I don't know what the name of the place, I don't know names of shit, right? Whenever I tell you stuff, it's just stuff that I heard, I don't remember names. I'm terrible at that. But there's this, like, uh. You know, like a gambling bookie? There's this, like, gambling bookie organization. They're legit. You know, they do it legally in, in Vegas. And uh, they got uh, they already have odds on who's going to be the 2020 president. Kanye West. No. I'll give you... Charlie two, Sheen. I'll give you five guesses. No. The, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. No. Are you sure he's running? One of the top fives is Z Zuckerberg. The, the Mr. I want to give everyone a basic income. Zuckerberg is one of them. One of the top five. Oh, but who's one? number one? Who do you think number one is? And and they're like they're like you know you know like the the their business is statistics. So they're like when they pick something they're like yeah like they look into everything. Like if they're going to, um, uh, to. give odds like on a football game, they look at the weather. They look at the, what kind of grass they're going to play on. They look at where they're going to play. They look at who's going to start. So it's all statistics, and they're like really accurate. But who do you think the number one person to be president in 2020 is? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Yep. They're like, yep, Donald Trump is like 5 to 1 odds. Everyone else is like 30 to 1 odds, 100 to 1 odds, and he's 5 to 1 odds. I'm like, holy crap. That's if he, does, that's if he makes it. Yep, that's if he Hey, guess what? This morning, I don't know, I don't know if, if, if it's now, if it, what it is now. I can look it up. You know what Bitcoin is today, this morning? Oh, I looked at it this morning, too. 3,400. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, you know what Bitcoin Cash is? What the hell is that? You didn't know about the fork? About the fork of Bitcoin? So Bitcoin was, so, the way it works is, I think this is how it works, but I'm going to try to explain it to you, right? So, the blockchain that supports Bitcoin is like a community. And if enough of the blockchain, if at least 51% or more want to change something in Bitcoin, what happens is a fork happens, which means that Bitcoin stays, but then another Bitcoin um, uh, is born. So that happened on, I believe it was August 1st, that happened. So Bitcoin is still Bitcoin. So if you have Bitcoin, you have Bitcoin. 
no problem. You don't have to do anything. But you also have Bitcoin Cash. All right? You also have Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash is like 300 and something dollars today. So you technically own Bitcoin at $3,400 and you own Bitcoin Cash, the same amount, at 300 and something dollars. Okay? But um, uh, so Coinbase, they announced that they're going to support Bitcoin Cash starting on 1 January. So 1 January, your Coinbase account, whatever Bitcoin you have in it, is going to be also Bitcoin Cash. So you're going to have both. So technically, if you have one Bitcoin today, you really have about $3,700, $3,800 worth of Bitcoin slash Bitcoin Cash. All right. Do you understand that? Uh, sure. So what they did is, is they created another Bitcoin. They named it Bitcoin Cash, but it's using the same blockchain as Bitcoin. Okay. They named it Bitcoin Cash and then they implemented whatever changes that they wanted to change to it. And from what I understand, the changes that they implemented were changes that would make it like a little faster to transact and stuff like that. So that's that's why Bitcoin Cash um, uh, was born. I call it was born. It's like, you know how Ethereum has Ether Classic? If you ever look at at, at the um, uh, at the crypto, um, uh, at, the, at the list of cryptos, there's an Ethereum and there's also an Ether Classic. That's because they went through the same thing that Bitcoin is going through now. Oh, I see. So yeah, pretty interesting. But thirty four hundred dollars, man. I wish I would have bought more when it was nine hundred, but got a little bit. That's all I care about. I don't care about having a lot. But but it's gonna be up to thirteen thousand by next year, February, March next year. Bitcoin's mm-hmm. gonna be ten, thirteen grand. What do you think about that? I think I should buy some now. I think that when it goes up to a million dollars, I'm just gonna trade mine in. But when it goes up to a million dollars, it'll probably take a hundred thousand dollars to buy a loaf of bread. Yeah. You don't have anything interesting to talk about? Uh well, I did my daily ritual. I woke up and went to work. Worked in the freezer for a minute, and then I was told I don't ever have to do that again by my boss. And I was like, yay. And uh, I went back to what I used to do. I did that. Took two breaks, took a lunch. Oh my god, that sounds boring as hell. I went back to work. I talked to a couple people. We didn't talk about anything. You talked to a couple people, but you didn't talk about anything? Man, anything important. What you know, just generic me. shit. I can't remember what my brother told me. And then, at about 2.35 or something, my father called. He said he bought me a Subway sandwich. I went to Subway... We talked to these, uh... Oh, yeah, we talked to Antonio and... And... What was your name? It starts with a G, I think. Georgia? No, it wasn't no. Georgia. Anyways, while I was in line... <laughs> well, uh, while I was... Gloria. Gloria, Gloria. yeah, Gloria. While I was in the line at Subway, there was two... There was a couple in front of me, and uh, they didn't know how to speak English, but they spoke Spanish, so the... Subway worker, they kept asking them, what do you want, this, 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 and that. And they were like, I don't understand. They were just like pointing at stuff. And I, so I, I, told, I, I said, do you speak Spanish? And they said, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, they're asking you this and this and this and that. And they're like, oh, thank you very much. And, you know, and I'm, uh, they were really nice. And the funny thing is, is that the husband, Antonio, he, um, uh, he, <laughs> he ordered a full-on sandwich. They're like, what do you want? And he's like, bacon. <laughs> He had nothing but bacon on his side. He's like, you want any cheese? No, I just want bacon. He said, put a lot of bacon. <laughs> he had a, a bacon sandwich. That's all he had. As, as soon as I seen that, I was like, man, this guy's cool as hell. But this is pretty cool, man. I mean, I hate to travel, but good for them. They're from Spain, and they shipped a little RV that they have to the most southern point in South America. And I don't know what that is, but I know it's below Belize. It's way below there. But uh, they said that they shipped it to the most southern point in South America, and they drove all the way up here to Alaska. They've been, they've been on the road for 11 months, just visiting every little country and every city that they can in, a, in, in, in every country they visit. So, and then they're going to take off from here, go to Florida, and then from Florida they're going to ship the RV back to Spain and then go back home by Christmas time. Pretty cool. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. For yeah, someone that so, doesn't like to travel, that's still pretty cool. Anyway, so I go to Subway and I eat and I'm trying to listen to a conversation in Spanish. I managed to catch about 
about I'd say 70% of what my father said because he speaks slow and these these other people they I couldn't understand a word they were saying because they spoke way too fast for me and then after that I went to Home Depot and I helped my father load up some siding. Uh, some, Tiny roof siding. yeah some siding we drove it here we unloaded it and then we came in here because it was so late and we're tired and we're tired from our long, hard day of working, both of us, especially I'm on me. on vacation, too. Yeah, and he's yeah, on I vacation. I today. Yeah. Hey, I play, I did, you know how I started every day since I've been on vacation? I get up in the morning, I come down here, obviously I do my hygiene stuff, and then I play a game of zombies. Yeah, I figured that. Before I go out. I always start my morning with a game of zombies. And then, uh, after I got in the house, I opened up my computer, I got my thing all set up, plugged in the microphone, did a little... Test one two one two, and then I started recording the father and son hour with Roy. I remember Roy. what my brother wanted me to talk about. So, my brother said, "You need to talk about this man because this is bullshit." In the U.S., do you know that in the U.S. you are a prisoner if you owe the IRS money? I'm not sure if there is a floor to how much. Like, I'm sure that if you owe the IRS $5, they're not going to keep you from traveling outside the United States. But they so, could. I don't know. I don't know if there's a floor. I don't know if there's, like, a minimum amount that you have to owe. But if you owe the IRS money, they will not let you leave the country. They will not let you leave the freaking country if you owe money. Uh, and he was like, that's bullshit because you're freaking being made a prisoner in your own country for owing an unelected branch of government money that they shouldn't be collecting from you anyways because on the 1040 tax form in the back in small print it says that paying taxes is voluntary does it yep it says paying taxes is a voluntary act or something like that i need to see this shit and, i gotta get my 10 w40 yep yeah. yeah. so i'm um, uh so he's like, you got to talk about that, but that's that is kind of messed up, you know. And I think maybe they're building that wall to keep us in instead of keeping people out. Are they gonna build the wall? Oh, I I read something about that. Uh, Congress passed a bill that would partially fund the building of the wall. Holy shit! So, but I don't know if it's true or not. I just I, I just want to see the wall. I just want to see the wall. That's all I want. Ooh, Bitcoin is thirty three ninety four. Oh well. I want to see. Hey, the wall. Litecoin is up to forty-eight bucks. I want to go man. visit the wall. I want to take pictures next <laughs> to the wall. I want to visit the damn wall. I want to. I want to like stand next to the wall and be part. like point with it. Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Three thirty. Okay. And you see, this is Bitcoin, regular Bitcoin. That's nice. Thirty-three ninety-four. All right. Pretty awesome, huh? And you see, as like I told you before, like you see Ethereum. Ethereum is going to be a big one too. Ethereum is going to be one of those big ones. And not because of the market cap or nothing like that, but because Ethereum is going to be, let me see, Ethereum is like a, a token that all of these other uh, cryptos are going to need. So Ethereum, in a way, is like gasoline. And all these other cryptos, all of the non-monetary cryptos, like Bitcoin is a monetary crypto. Bitcoin is like something that you use to store your value, store your wealth, okay? But, um, uh, and Litecoin is like a monetary crypto. It was made so that you can transact, uh, you know, so that you can transact and barter with someone, okay? But, uh, let's take a look at one that is really, really hot and that is going to change everything. Oh, I got my credit card today. Yeah. Veritasium. Well, yesterday. But... See, Veritasium? Veritasium is going to change how business is conducted, I would say, probably in the whole world. Maybe not in the next year, but within the next four or five years, Veritasium is going to be like a household name. Um, uh, so like Veritasium is like an automobile, right? It's used to do things. It's used to build contracts. Can I see what that's what the name looks like? Veritasium. Oh man. Right? So Veritasium is 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 like an automobile, right? It it um uh, it, it's uh something that um I forgot the name of the guy. Robinson I forgot the name of the guy who built it, but he's a real smart guy. Uh, but Veritasium is going to be used by like banks, by hospitals. It can be used by schools. It, it can be used by everything. With Veritasium, you can sell a house. How long does it take to close on a house? I don't know. Like a month, two months, right? Yeah. 
With Veritasium, you can literally close on a house if you have everything put together in an hour. Damn. And it's going to get rid of the middleman. That's the good thing about it. It's going to get rid of the middleman. You're not going to need a realtor for banking. You're not going to need a bank for like selling property, selling a house, contracts. You're not going to need a middleman. It's going to eliminate all that cost. So Veritasium is like the automobile to do those things. And Ethereum is like the gasoline that the automobile needs. So if anyone's going to use these other other tokens to try to do stuff, they need to use Ethereum. At least that's how I understand it, the layman's point of view. So it's uh, coinmarketcap.com. Yeah, but what's the name of that thing again? Veritasium. How do you spell it? Uh, Veritasium. V-E-R-I. Okay. T-A-S. Okay. E-U-M. It comes from the word veritas. I think veritas is like is honest or something like that. Yeah, it's like it truth. Honest. Yes, and you know, that's what it is. Veritas. You know how I know that? Because it's in Harry Potter. What is it? Latin. Yeah. Is that what veritas is? So I think Ethereum is going to be a huge, huge one in the future, and veritasium. I think it's going to be one too. But it's hard as hell to freaking buy veritasium. You have to have like a special wallet. Blah blah. Oh, Jerry Brown. That's the name of the guy that uh, created veritasium. But, uh, yeah, I think cryptos are going to be the future, even though I hate technology. I hate this crap. Uh, but, you know, I listened to this guy. His name is Bix Weir. Freaking smart as hell. And his argument, he loves precious metals because precious metals is honest. If I give you a silver dollar for whatever, whatever you're giving me for it, guess what? There's no middleman. It's honest. You know, I'm giving it to you. You have it. And I got what I got from you that I want. There's, there's no way that you can deceive anyone unless, of course, it's a, it's a counterfeit coin or something like that. But you know, wait, there's ways to test the, that. The free market so. flushes that kind of behavior out. There's always going to be dishonesty, and no matter what comes about, and there's, there's always going to be dishonest people trying to, you know, do to um, uh, play the system. So, but um, uh, what Big Weir was saying is that. What was I talking about? Oh, he, he loves cryptos. I mean, he loves precious metals, but he said cryptos is going to be the thing of the future. And why is that? And his argument is that there's not enough precious metals to go around. And it's, it's so much more convenient to use cryptos. Because, like, for example, let's say you wanted to buy something from Amazon, right? And you've got a silver coin. You can use that silver coin to buy whatever it is you want from Amazon, but what steps do you have to take? You have to convert that silver coin into dollars, into fiat. Then you have to take that fiat, put it in a bank. Then you have to place the order, and then you have to use the digits on your bank account but with to pay Bitcoin, the Bitcoin, you can just go, hey, I want that. Click. With Bitcoin, you can go. Amazon actually has an option for Bitcoin. You can actually buy stuff from Bitcoin. And there's also a Bitcoin store online that they sell things for Bitcoin. They sell it for... Ethereum and Litecoin, I think it is. Um, uh, so he, he has a good argument that, that precious metals are not going to be used as money in the new monetary system. And I have to say that it's, it's very convincing. His argument is very convincing. Um, but for you precious metal lovers, because I love precious metals because of the honesty part of it and the uncentralized part of it, where you have it, you own it. Uh, he said that silver will be um, uh, valued extremely high. So only because you won't be able to use it as money, it's still going to be worth a lot. So don't be getting rid of your stuff just because just because maybe we won't be able to use it as money. But we might. We might be able to use it as money. So you never know. We'll see. What is plugged in, man? Give me it. So, what do you think about that? There you go. Thank you. That's really awesome. What do you think? Do you think that um uh, that our future is in cryptos? I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's definitely gonna be online. It's not gonna be like. I almost wish that it wasn't. I almost wish that it went back yeah, to the old days. Yeah, me neither, because you, it's kind you... of unreliable in the end. Because computers break down all the time. No, no, I almost wish that during our new paradigm, I'm gonna call it a new paradigm because that's what it's gonna be. When, when the fiat currency paradigm finally goes back to its intrinsic value of zero, 
during our new paradigm, I kind of wish it went back to precious metals. But I know that it won't because technology is so advanced that there are things that are more convenient than precious metals. But it's the reason paper money was invented in the yeah, first place. It's so but, convenient. But I mean, people take convenience over. I don't want to say over the better thing because I don't know. I mean, convenience has its value, but you know, holding something and knowing that it's got value and knowing that you can trade for it. That has a lot of value in my eyes, but it's very inconvenient, you know? And it does have this... It's kind of like getting uh, a big-ass, super awesome generator to pack up your house compared to a shitty little generator that works, but it's not as good as that one, but it's easier to carry around and move. Or if you have a super, super big, awesome generator and the zombie apocalypse happens, you don't want to use it anyways. Yeah. Two reasons. You'll probably run out of fuel, number one, and two... It attracts zombies. It no, once you turn it on, yeah, it's going to attract all the zombies. They're going to come to where the sound is. Yeah. So. Just get it muffled. I, I, I am going to look into getting a muffler for my generator. I think they make them, mufflers for oh, those yeah, things. They so do. I think that you can make, you know. You can you make can your own, too. Make your own. So, yeah, that's something that I need to look into because that little generator I got is awesome. All right, we're at 31 minutes, Dad. We're at 31 minutes already? Yeah, that is correct. Hmm. Oh, let's, let's, see what, let's see what gold is at. Gold and silver. Was that the end of your list? Dude, we've talked about a lot of stuff. We have, I know. Provident Metals. They don't pay me anything, but Provident Metals is awesome. Oh, did I... Did we talk about the Krugerrand? I did talk about the Krugerrand last time. That, that, yeah, those Pretty sure we talked awesome. about it before then, too. Love those Krugerrands. They're awesome. They're really nice and shiny. You still have to go upstairs and clean your room. Well... Say my name, say my name. <laughs> I haven't had to edit a video. I haven't like, done forever. that in a long time. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Okay. I don't know. Now let's end it quick. Do you remember? No, I, just re I, it, it's like 31 minutes. Sure. All we got to do is listen. We'll listen to it back, even though it's almost time for you to go because you got to go to sleep. We'll listen back to it while playing the game of zombies. Or I can just listen to where it is, edit it out, hurry up and save it. So no, no, wait home. a minute. We still have to see what our um, uh, precious metals are at. I'm tired. What's what's gold at? I want to know gold. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess is that it hasn't opened up yet. I'm gonna guess that it's at about twelve sixty three. Uh. I'm gonna put gold at twelve sixty three, and I'm gonna put silver at sixteen fifty seven. Twelve sixty three and sixteen fifty seven. Let's see. A shout out to Roy. A shout out to Roy at DR. <laughs> he told me, he's like, hey man, why haven't you guys uploaded that yet? He's addicted, man. He's addicted to the Father and Son Hour. That is awesome. <laughs> he's our. He's addicted to the Father and Son Hour. He's family, That's awesome, of course. Man. I would tell my other brothers and sisters about the Father and Son Hour, but they'd probably try to get me um, uh, put in an asylum. Yeah, probably. When are we going to go shooting, man? We haven't gone shooting in a long time. We're busy. We're always too busy. I haven't seen a movie in theaters in like... Hey, I asked you if you wanted to go see Wonder Woman, and you didn't want to go. Wonder Woman? Dude, Wonder Woman looks awesome. I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen a preview? Yeah. It looks really good. They said it was really good. Well, but... I asked you that one week, like two weekends ago, if you wanted to go see Wonder Woman, and you said no. So that's your own fault. Oh. Well, I don't remember. Plus, I'm freaking tired of paying for everything for you. <laughs> Every time we go somewhere, he forgets his wallet at home or he has to go to the bathroom right before I go to the darn cash register. That's not true. I just lie. <laughs> <laughs> I just say I forgot my wallet at home. Because That's I know he'll pay for me. So That's yeah, right. There I'll you go. Hey, man, what the heck is going on here? I helped you build a house. Yes, you did. So now he's making me pay for it. Yep. It's not showing what spot is. Oh, wow. That's because you have shit internet here. So Probably. It still hasn't shown up. Internet here is terrible. I was hoping that, man, maybe one day. But you know what? It's a, it's a double-edged sword. Like, imagine if one day we actually have it where they can route internet cables and everything up here just like in town. But then if that happens, you know why? People move out because here. Because there's too many people out here. Yeah. So in a way, I'm like, I'd rather not. I'd rather just clear out my trees, 
put my stupid dish up and get shitty internet that's reliable shitty internet and not have not really reliable and not have 10,000 people out here I heard that shit goes in and out so much even during the summer like, well you know what if it goes in and out a lot and it's a piece of crap then I just disconnect it I'll be like hey forget it man I don't want it anymore because that's that's yeah but the fucked up part is they lock you into a two year contract do they really? yeah like Dish Network, Satellite TV, all that stuff. It's like a, at least a one-year contract. And like how much is it a month? Did you it, check into it? It depends. Um, I think for the highest one, it was like $100 a month. For the highest one? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, but the highest one for them is like the lowest one for GCI. Like minus half of that. It's crazy. I think for GCI, like the $50 one or something like that, it's still like... 300 gigabytes or whatever dude because the the coverage we used to have when we lived on base was awesome it was my internet is amazing i love my internet really? holy shit it's awesome i was i downloaded a what was it an eight gigabyte update in like 10 seconds shut up it was insane i couldn't believe it because even when we were on base it didn't download that fast but when you first hooked it up i was downloading something and i'm looking at it and i'm like Holy shit, it was like 900 megabytes a second, one gigabyte yeah, but, a second. But, um, Damn. Uh, let me ask you something. You guys have, then you have uh, fiber optic then, don't you? Yeah, we have the best. That you have we fiber have optic. One, fiber yes. optic is awesome. That thing is so Do cool. Do you know how fiber optic works? It's pretty freaking amazing. It's light. It's with light. It's, it's, with it's light. insane. It's, it's not even with it the sends light. packets of data. It's through. with electrons. Oh, it's light electrons, right? Or neutrons? Electrons. Light is just light. Electron. Yeah, it's the electrons bouncing back and forth, right? That's what light is. <laughs> I don't know so the that's exact how, thing. That's now. how. Um, uh, that's how fiber optics works. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, my crap's not downloading, man. We're screwed. We no, it's not. A, uh, light has no mass. They're photons. That's what they're called. Photons. Photons. There okay. we go. Yeah, I was gonna say not electrons because electrons have mass and they're photons. Electrons they have no mass. Have mass? Yeah, well, very very yeah, infinitesimal, but they have mass. But yeah, light has no mass. It's just energy. Your momentum. I heard a theory that if you take one away and put one another one in, and it'll like, it'll give it something else. It's crazy. Oh, and they find out a way to make hard light. That was cool. Make what? Hard light. What's that? Light you can touch. Like, hard light. It's literally the saying, hard How light. How the hell does that work? I don't know. They said they bounced some mirrors off some shit and passed it through something. I don't know. It was just cool. It's been a theory for a long time, and they finally proved it. Do you know that they have a way where you can charge your electrical item, like a phone, from the air? Oh, yeah. They do. That's kind that's of scary. That's awesome. You see? I don't like that. That's awesome. That, that shit's so cool. You know why I don't like that? Because it's awesome, right? For that application, right? Yeah. But governments will find a way to take that application or to take that, whatever you want to call it, and turn it into a death weapon. Dead. Into something that Anyone. Kills someone out there will do that no matter what. It doesn't have to be the government. It's going to be someone. It will be. You know it will. It will so what's the point of stopping They'll inventing find some shit? some little guy that likes to eat freaking Pop-Tarts and lock him in a room and say, you're going to learn how to make this weapon for us. We're going to give you all the Pop-Tarts you want. But you're not leaving this room until you make that. He's going to be like, all right, Pop-Tarts. Like, all right. Incredible. Man. Are we done yet? I feel like this one's dragged on. This is it's the right middle now. of the week. There's nothing good to talk about. It's not the weekend. We usually do this on the weekend. LAPD to unleash drones. I already knew that. Beautiful, really? All right. Hey, everyone. This has oh, been... Oh, come on, but I don't want to go yet. This has been the father and son half hour, well, technically almost 40 minutes right now. I'm really tired and I want to go to bed. And so I'm cutting this episode short. Thank you for watching. Oh, are you going to upload this tonight at least so our fans can can view it or can listen? If to I it? get around to it. You said it downloads like in a second. It does. It actually does so like less than a second. I literally click upload and it uploads. It's awesome. Okay, so you're going to upload it tonight. No, right? probably not. I'm probably going to go home and Why can't you upload it tonight? It's only going <laughs> to take you a minute. Oh, Philadelphia takes... So, Philadelphia tax makes soda more expensive than beer. <laughs> Remember about the, the soda tax? Yeah, I about? yeah. It makes their soda more expensive than beer. <laughs> so, people are now incentivized to drink beer instead yeah. of soda. <laughs> well, hey, that's what happens. Oh, soda tax? They put a tax on soda? Dude, it's like a ridiculous tax. Dude, there's like businesses going out of business. Because... You don't understand. Soda 
for some like corner stores and even supermarkets, that's what they like, make their money. It's yeah. like twenty five percent of their revenue of their bottom line. Yeah. That's a lot, and their businesses like I think it was A M P or Shoprite that they have in um, uh, Pennsylvania. There were A M P and Shoprites over there like firing people because they couldn't afford to keep them because they weren't selling enough soda. Fucking incredible, man. Le- leave it up tags. to government. All right, people. My son wants to leave. Well, now that you mention it, I don't understand. Do they not realize, like, if you put a tax on something? Well, you don't. You, what you have to understand is this. I'm not a leftist. I'm not a rightist. I'm not nothing. I just, I just like to be. You're free. just fucking crazy. That's I all. just like to be free. Yeah, you're crazy. Okay? I like freedom. I don't like. You're crazy I for don't thinking like that. The word freedom. I just like freedom. What these people don't understand is that you cannot tax your way out of an economic crisis. You cannot tax your way out of overspending. They're obviously overspending, so they think that the people's money is their money because they're like, oh, if we need money, we'll just raise taxes. Hey, they just don't understand that that shit does not work. That's and, the, that does not improve the economy. And if anyone wants to test this theory, go buy a game called City Skylines. It's like SimCity. You build your own city, you manage it, you, re- you set the taxes and the laws. I guarantee if you go and raise your taxes past like 15% for each district, they're going to fucking leave. They leave, and then you lose money, even more money, and then you can't fix your roads, you can't collect garbage, you can't yeah. provide hospitals at, with anything. Look at Illinois. You can't provide water or electricity. Perfect example. Illinois, California. Everyone's freaking... People are leaving in droves. The only reason some people can't leave is because they can't sell their homes. But their, their, their property taxes are ridiculous. They're... They have income tax. They have sales tax. They have a tax on freaking everything. Look at North Carolina. North Carolina has a tax on your property. Not house property, but like if you own a car, you have to pay car tax every year. Yeah, I heard about not, that not shit. Just, yeah. not, and I'm not talking about registration because registration is just another, another form of tax. But you get a bill in the mail for owning a car. Every year you have to pay because you own a car. It's freaking incredible, man. Crazy. All right, people. See you next week. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Sorry it was so short. My son is wimping out. Dad, our first one was Take only it away. 29 minutes. Take it minutes. away, Roy. All right. Take it away, Roy. You already said my name. I'm going to edit this shit. God. Take it away, Roy. All right. Anyway, have fun, everybody. Uh, take care. Have fun, everybody. You know what? Whatever. Bye. Bye.